Hey guys, Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. We're back in Valheim, back in our build series. Today we're going to be working on our fishing community. So if you guys followed the last episode of this project, we started with a simple home that we built here on top of this hill. But today we are going to be working on a boathouse. So I know I haven't quite decorated this home yet. I think how I'm going to structure this project is that I'm going to do all the structures first and then kind of decorate everything at the end and it'll kind of be like a big reveal. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. Okay, so boathouse. Again, I have just kind of a general shape of me what some of the initial docks will look like. So this is eight across and then just pushes down this way. Uh, we'll see how far it extends, but I think my idea is that I'm going to kind of have docks kind of fringing off on each side, maybe have some in the back. It's also going to be stilted up on poles, so let's just get some of the structure in uh, just to kind of see and where we need to add support. So I think we'll start here. It'll come out this far. It'll be raised up a little bit as well. Yeah, let's just try to get the basic bones in, as always, and just try to see the shape and ex where exactly we need to put supports to make sure that this structure sits above the water. So it is going to be a little bit tricky, but I think it'll look pretty cool when it's all said and done. So yeah, there's going to be, I think, the surrounding dock and then the floor is going to sit above it a little bit. At least the floor of this main structure. Make sure we have some beams supporting this as well. See how, how long is it right now? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 uh, pieces out. But let's kind of figure out the shape of the structure in the front here. So kind of want to figure out what our roof lines are going to look like. Maybe the front will just come together with 26 degree beams. Back might be a little bit different. So maybe on this layer in the back we'll go couple 26 and then it'll go 45 but then I think I want it to round off at the top here yeah I think I like that a little bit better and then again we'll flatten here maybe this will overhang a little bit as well on this side let's make sure that this is supported all the way up. Okay, so I think that'll work for now. At least give us some some layering to work with. And then actually, what if we have maybe one additional layer? So it's going to be like three tiers of like roof lines here in the front. I think this will actually look kind of interesting. So this will just be a half step up from here. I think we'll keep going up with the 45s. And then flatten off with the 26s as well. So yeah, kind of a, a tiered roof design going this way. Okay, nice. And so actually what I also want to do is I kind of want to make these bow out, make it look a little bit more dramatic. So let's do that. So we'll just rotate in once, go in twice, and maybe hopefully we can get it to meet at a point there. Repeat the pattern on this side. Okay, that looks like it works. Put these in here for support. And then I kind of want to do something similar on each of these different tiers as well. 
for this one. Let's go one. And then we'll go to the 26. And connect those. Hopefully that adds a little bit more support. And will this join? Okay, nice. So it looks like it'll join. It's not totally falling apart. So that's good. Maybe we'll just go a little taller, stick with the 45s up on this last tier. But we'll start on this beam. So not from here, maybe from that like beam second from the top. Should join in the middle. I like that. Gives it a little bit more dramatic look on this tiered section. And I think I want to maybe bring it out, make it overhang a little bit more. Like, what if I kind of created this, like, hook? Yeah, I don't mind that. I think I kind of like that. Give it just, like, a little interesting shape, a little hook at the end of here. Nice. I think that works. I like it. Okay. Um, I also want to just add some flair to this entrance with maybe some looping beams in the front. Let's make it look a little bit more intricate. A little bit more ornate and artistic. So why don't we just wrap? Maybe some of these beams just like continue down. So let's just continue the 26 degree beams, just rotating each time. Let's see, where does this come down to? So maybe there. And then maybe we'll also do another layer on this from this upper roof. Then we'll go shed a little bit, so we'll go extend two from there, and then start curving it. So let's just continue wrapping this second layer here. Okay, nice. So that looks kind of cool. Definitely makes the entrance look much more dramatic. I do think I like that. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these, uh, kind of like the bones in on the rest of our roof. So, we'll go sections of four here. So, one, two, three, four. In between one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to do that interval of four here because what I want to do is, so I'll raise this up. I think I actually got to go up full level here. When I bring this down, I want each section of this roof to just connect like that. So we obviously got to make it kind of structurally work, but... I think that is the, that's the hope or the idea right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this roof structure in. We'll just kind of follow this pattern. Okay, nice. I think that'll look pretty good. And then here it'll keep raising up another. And that'll connect here. Nice. And then maybe have a beam going across all the way. And then that will extend up into this last tiered roof like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I do like that. Do the same thing on the other side now. Okay, there we go. So we kind of have the bones in on the other side as well. 
Really liking how the structure is turning out. I mean, it's just a skeleton right now, but I think it looks quite interesting just from the profile. So really happy with that so far. So why don't we now just get some of the roofing in, at least where we can. Yeah, so I'm going to go for a thatch roof for this boathouse. I kind of want it to look a little bit rougher. I think the thatch might just carry that theme a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I think what I'm going to do actually also in filling in these roofs is I'm going to create like a little op like kind of flat panel that sticks out on this highest roof. I think that'll just give it another bit of layering and complexity. Okay, yeah, nice. So let's let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we were able to lay in a bulk of our roof. I'm liking how that looks. It looks quite layered and complex. Looking pretty nice. Let's build out some of these dock slots. So I think this is where some of the ships are going to be docked as they come in. So let's try to build these out. Then we'll bring it out 8 meters or 4 beams. Alright, so these will be some of the docks. And then actually, let's make sure we also connect this level to the main level up here. So we'll have another stairway right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this on the other side real quick as well. All right, nice. So now we have some stalls on the other side as well. That should work pretty, pretty nicely. Okay, so what I want to do is I actually want to push out this section even farther. I've extended it a little bit, but I, because I want to put in like a long ship inside a portion of this boathouse. So I stuck one in just to kind of get a size reference here. It looks like it will fit, but. Again, I think I'm going to extend this out a little bit farther just so we'll have another dock slip here. So I think we need to go out I think two more from there. So yeah, we're just going to push it out a little bit. Again, I'll just do this real quick since we're just repeating the pattern, but I want to extend this building out just a little bit farther. Alright, there we go. So we have extended this house just like another segment. Um, I think that works a little bit better, especially if we're gonna have like a large longship in here. So I think that works out pretty well. Okay, so now I think what we should do is we should probably create some of these overhanging uh, structures on this side. Got to make sure that it mirrors it. Okay, so there's that one. This one as well. Okay, nice. Actually, I wonder. So I know I did this like hook shape initially. 
wonder, would I like it better if I had more of the wood dragon dormant? I think I might. Let's, you know what, let's just try it out. See if maybe we'll like it a little bit better. Yeah, honestly, I think I might. Let's, let's switch it up and do that. Yeah, okay. Like that a little bit better. Kinda makes it look like actually so these looping beams might be part of like the wings or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, nice. So again, I like the dragon adornment. I think I like that a little bit better. Uh, I wonder, can we make some of these circular beams on the other side? I don't know. It's gonna be a little challenging just given the structural integrity, but... Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Yeah, um... I think that'll make it kind of look cool. It's like an entrance to, for like the long ship into this dock. So, let's try our best here. Okay, we'll raise up a little support right there. Probably the same here. Okay, nice. I like that. That's kind of decorative. Looks kind of cool. Let's see if we can get the other one to come down as well. So, where, does, where did we start this one? Okay, so we started there. Okay, nice. So that'll support that for now. Let's try to get the other side in. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do like that. I think that kind of... creates some symmetry with here, but it also makes this kind of entrance into the dock look a little bit more epic. Maybe we should also... line the beams here. Just so it kind of closes off these sections. Alright, nice. So I kind of like how those poles kind of line this entrance into the dock. We kind of raise some of the seafloor a little bit as well, just to give it a little more support. It's this one a little bit more. But yeah, I think that looks looks kind of epic. I like that. All right, nice. So let's work on some of the areas on the inside of the boathouse. So it's going to be kind of layered, I think. So I do want it to come down. Like, I want to have an upper level up here, but then maybe a lower level where you can actually board the, uh, the longship. So let's try to... Just kind of line where exactly this is all going to take place. Okay, so I think at a certain point, there will be stairs down. If I go down one more, I think maybe, maybe I do. Okay, so yeah, maybe the dock comes down to here. Actually, I think that makes more sense. Maybe we'll do that, bring that level, but if that's the case, then we probably don't need to block off this area. So let's go ahead and take these out. Actually, I wonder. Maybe the stairs down will start here instead. Because then we can kind of have like a higher higher boardwalk up here but then yeah it kind of leads leads down to here on this like lower section which is maybe more more easily board the ship so uh, let's do that
Hmm. I kind of want to curve this side a little bit. So maybe that's what we'll do. Yeah, okay. like that a little bit better. That kind of contours the ship a little bit more in this stall, so... Okay, nice. I do like how the ship kind of sits within this boathouse like that. It's kind of tucked away. Fits right in here. Um, some different, like, levels on this, like, boardwalk up here. And then pretty easily hopping and out of the ship. So, that works. Let's go ahead and try to fill in the rest of these floors here. Okay, nice. So we have the floor in here. Uh, I think I want to maybe make some stairs to another level. So let's try to do that. There is kind of some of this space up here. Let's see if we can utilize it at all. Okay, nice. So I think that second floor is a good use of space here. Kind of lets us look out on the the horizon here from the top floor, which is nice, because we have these little openings here in the roof. Might some, maybe some store some stuff up here. I think we'll leave this open, uh, just kind of as like the space for like the boat, but I do like that. All right, nice. So the flooring on the inside is done. I think that actually works really well. Let's kind of finish up some of the the details on this. Like, I think we need to have some some poles here in the front. Okay, there we go. I think those poles make sense. Let's also bring out the, the roof line a little bit here on the trim. All right, nice. Yeah, I like that. So let's do it on the other side. All right, nice. I think that just makes it look a little bit more intricate. And then also let's work on these up here. So maybe we'll just and align it with some beams like that I think yeah I think I like the way that looks and we'll bring it down with like one meter spacing all right nice yeah I think that does make the the roof look a little bit a little bit nicer there. So I do want to like seal up maybe some of the sides, maybe on this taller section. Uh, but I do want to leave most of the sides of this boathouse open. I feel like that makes more sense. I don't think a boathouse would have just like closed up walls or anything like that. So maybe we'll use just like the wood shutters in some areas just to give a little bit more texture because I like it because it's a little bit leaner than the wood walls but you still get like these poles. Okay, yeah. Do you like that? It just seals up a portion of it. I think, yeah, maybe I do dragon adornments on each one of these as well. That's kind of the theme for this boathouse. It's like a dragon boathouse. Nice. That looks, uh, looks pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and throw in some of our boats here on these stalls. They fit. 
Yeah, it looks like they fit. That's good. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to extend out these docks just a little bit farther. And do that. That makes a little bit more sense here. Yeah, okay, I like that. Just extending it one out. Let's do that on the other side as well. Alright, yeah, nice. I like that. Okay, awesome. So I think with that, the boathouse is pretty much complete, at least structurally. Really like how this turned out. It turned out quite, uh, quite interesting. So like I said in the beginning, um, I think I'm going to handle all the decoration at the end of the project where we build all our structures and then we decorate all of them. So again, we'll, uh, we'll save that for the end here, but yeah, structurally, I think this is just really an interesting looking boathouse. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I think it's a good addition to our little fishing community project here, but if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.